Hello and welcome to this video on Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is probably the most important law in all of electronic and electrical theory. And it's important because it unifies three key quantities in electronics, uh, voltage, current and resistance. So we can see here in the formula that they're unified by this um, equation here, V equals I times R or in, in words below, voltage equals current times resistance. And we can rearrange this formula um, if we want to calculate voltage. Um, we can say current times resistance, as we've got there. But we can rearrange it into some different permutations. So we can say uh, current I equals voltage divided by resistance. Or likewise, we can say resistance equals voltage divided by current. So there's actually three arrangements of that formula. And we're going to try and use these uh, just with some quick examples here. So let's take a look at a very simple circuit. Uh, you can see here we've got a cell on the left. We've got an ammeter at the top. And we've got a resistor on the right-hand side. And let's say that our resistance is a resistance of 10 ohms for the sake of example. And our ammeter is measuring current in the circuit in amps, and we're measuring a current of 500 milliamps. And the question is, what is the voltage in this case? So let's apply Ohm's law in this instance. And we're gonna say, as we said before, V equals I times R. Now, we run into a problem here because our current that we're measuring is 500 milliamps. And that's not really the standard form of unit that we should be using in the equation. 500 milliamps, well, there's a 1,000 milliamps in an amp. So 500 milliamps is the same as 0 0.5 amps. We divide by 1,000 to get our current in amps. So what we should say here is 0 0.5 for the current multiplied by 10, our resistance. And so 0 0.5 times 10 gives us 5 volts for the voltage there. Let's have a go at another example. So I'll remove these values here. And this time, we're going to have a go at working out the current in the circuit. So let's have a go at that by using a different set of values. We'll say that now the voltage of the cell is 9 volts and we'll say that the resistance is 120 ohms and now we want to know what the current is flowing in this circuit so we're going to use the second arrangement of our formula ohm's law i equals v over r and we can plug those values straight into our formula we can say 9 divided by 120 and that's going to give me a answer of 0 0.075. And we're measuring a current, so it's 0 0.075 amps. Now, again, what we can do is we can multiply by a factor of 1,000 to express this 0 0.075 amps in milliamps. So multiplying by 1,000, we can say that that's the same thing as saying 75 milliamps. Finally, let's have a look at one more example. We'll remove these values, and this time we're going to calculate the resistance in the circuit. So my final uh, set of values here, we'll say that we have a 12 volt cell, and let's say that we're measuring a current in this circuit of 800 milliamps. And the question is, what's the resistance uh, in this circuit? So the final arrangement of our formula, R equals V over I. And again, we have this problem with these milliamps, 800 milliamps. We have to express that in terms of amps in the formula. So dividing by 1,000, we can express 800 milliamps as 0 0.8 amps by dividing by a factor of 1,000 there. So what we can do in our formula here, we can say that that's 12 divided by 0 0.8. 
and that gives me an answer of 15 ohms. So I hope you found this video useful on how we can use Ohm's law in three different arrangements to work out voltage, current and resistance in a simple series circuit.